Now we're looking at the same report as before, but with some real world data. Let's click the e-commerce tab. This example on screen shows the difference between uh, AOV and per session values versus conversion rates. Now we can see this data, we can start to understand and optimize campaigns based on this. Furthermore, we can use the per session value to project spend and manage our bid expectations. We can also use it to fine tune our keyword selection and match types. Let me show you how. Let's take a look at query match type. Going back to the summary tab at the top, we can see our ABCs for each match type. We can also see here a not set problem that needs addressing, which is a bit of a pain because we've got some fault finding to do, but it's also good to discover an issue at this level and set about fixing it. That said, we covered that off earlier uh, in the training. So let's ignore it for now and click the e-commerce tab. Now, this is telling a, a whole different story. Notice how per session values differ dramatically between match types. It's a common theme I see, broad match keywords dragging down the per session value. You can also click on the broad match terms to drill down another step and then you can optimize based on the commercial data you see here. So your job here is to find keywords that are either dragging down ROI or pushing it upwards. And by that, I mean the low per session value keywords become your negatives. Obviously, ensure that you're using a suitable time frame, of course. And the higher per session value terms can become your exact match terms in your account. You can do this by keyword, looking for high sessions with low value. And also, if you wish, you can look at the top level campaign performance too. You can, of course, do this sort of work within AdWords itself. But here in analytics, we're seeing a combination of metrics that really help us solidify our optimization choices. Now, a quick question. Which do you think would win in terms of ROI? A single, two word, three or four word search term? You're probably thinking the longer the search term, the better, as it's more precise to the user's search intent. I'd say that's a good call. It's common sense, right? But let's find out using a, a neat little dimension, the query word count. What we're looking at here is two things. Keyword length that has sufficient session data and any abnormal transaction data or conversion data that you see. And look here, those one word queries in this account are the showstoppers. Look at that AOV and session value. Surprising? Again, we should never make assumptions, so let the data do the talking. We can, of course, click each word count and find out precisely which single word terms are driving this above average performance. And of course, which single word terms are dragging it back down again. Your custom segments can be layered over this data to make it even more attractive to your business. I created a, a custom segment for English males, 35 to 54. So let's apply that now. And yep, the single keyword performance still holds true. So that's good news. Now that Google has introduced demographic targeting for search ads, Nothing is stopping us from creating really specific keyword and target segment based campaigns. In fact, using these search query reports, you might come up with some inspired single keyword campaigns that really sail along. Let's remove this segment. Let's take a look at fault finding uh, landing pages with keyword data. So this is a step to find if your keywords and search terms agree on where the destination page should be. In other words, are search terms triggering the wrong ad at any point? Obviously, for this to be effective, you want to remove any secondary dimensions that applies campaign uh, and ad groups that share the same destination pages. Secondly, uh, we can understand if the, the landing page is working effectively for the keyword in question. This is a pretty logical analogy. Essentially, is there a search term that drives a lot of traffic, but with a subpar performance? 
As you find them, look at both conversion and behavior metrics, your ABCs, to understand if the page is appropriate to the search term. So a high bounce rate with low conversion metrics would suggest you need to rethink the page or prioritize your budget on other keywords. It's not uncommon to see a bucket of similar keywords performing wildly different with the same landing page. This simple analysis can help you fine tune keywords that your gut tells you should be working, but might not be delivering the return on investment you expect to see.